Morning Watch World, coming to you from a cool spring day in Virginia. Uh, I'm going to talk about my latest acquisition, my latest mod here on a G-Shock. This one is a titanium mod. Purchased this titanium shell and, and bracelet. I also had to purchase a whole nother watch. <laughs> uh, interesting story, I had the antique copper. I think this is actually listed or was listed for sale as antique bronze or retro bronze, but it's really an, more of an antique to, or copper. And I had this one going. I uh, really loved it. The, just the look of it. It's so unique. There's probably, I don't know how many they sold, but you know, less than 20 or something in America. So it makes it really rare. And I get people asking about it just because it's so different and nobody else has a g-shock that looks quite like this i see some silver g-shocks or i see black g-shocks but this one was my choice and I'm, I'm glad i bought it because now they aren't available and i'm glad i jumped on that i also modified it by polishing the inner the whole inner surface that touches your arm i didn't polish it i sorry i, I sandpapered it so give it a brushed look um just so that the copper doesn't turn green on your arm. That seems to be working well. Um, it weighs a little bit. It was chunky compared to a G-Shock. Um, G-Shocks on their little rubber strap weigh about 53 grams. Uh, this one, almost my only gripe, which really isn't a gripe, but it weighs 138 grams, which isn't bad. 138 grams isn't, isn't bad on a on a stainless steel sports watch. I mean, this is just a little, little kind of chunky feel to G-Shocks because of the 44 diameter, but they, they wear well. I really like this. And uh, when I saw the titanium mod is available, I really thought that would be awesome to trim the weight because G-Shocks are traditionally, you know, light everyday watch. So, with this one, it is much lighter uh, at, I'm oh, sorry about that. Can't see the number when I move it. Uh, right at 100, 100.1. 100 uh, that's a noticeable difference. It almost feels cheap because it, it almost feels like aluminum or something. That titanium is so light. Let's get some close-ups. It's more of a brushed oxidized finished here with the surround being a polish polished black which, which reflects light well and then in between each of the links is a polished surface just on the edges and in here so it's a little polished edges and satin brushing so when you're wearing it on your wrist you get just the littlest bits of uh, hints in between the links of that polished surface which which matches the bezel real well Everybody should know about G-Shock. You know, you have a backlight, you get your stopwatch functions and your alarms and your countdown timers. Uh, you get the day and the date. It's just a real handy watch. Um, I should mention that I put uh, uh, glass screen protectors on here. I don't like having a watch that gets all scuffed up. I, they're very cheap watches, I understand. Uh, I think I paid 46 bucks or 42 bucks on Amazon. Um, at first I was just going to upgrade the copper to, uh, change out the copper, but since they aren't very expensive, I went ahead and bought a whole nother watch. So I have two watches. Um, one disadvantage to the titaniums, it's going to show scratches compared to that copper one. You can see my first couple of scratches already. It isn't a paint. It's more of an oxidized kind of surface, but it scratches off and... Eventually, this will look all scuffed and scraped. I'm glad I'm getting this video now while it still looks nice. Where the copper one, I'm sure you can see my... Well, maybe you can't see them at all. <laughs> this scuffs... Here they are. Scuffs and scrapes blend right in because it's a rough surface to begin with. So, this one will wear better. This one will definitely show wear. Um, but it lightened it right up. So let's get you some wrist shots, show you this mod. This is a quick video because there isn't much to talk about G-Shocks except 
um, I think it was about $150 for this upgrade. So for $200 total, I have a uh, unique titanium G-Shock. I like the ability to just pop open a bracelet. I'm kind of a bracelet guy. I like just popping open a bracelet compared to threading a rubber strap, which is a little cumbersome. And so you still maintain that lightness. Um, light, light every day, grab and go kind of watch feel. Uh, first a wristwatch check, wearing my to sell uh, 9015 beautiful watch to sell it they have a miyota movement in here so no ghost date i like that high beat miyota movement excellent with a glide lock clasp and let's get to that g-shock there you go there it is on wrist you can see the slight shimmer of in between the links as you do a wrist roll and that uh, shine of the polished bezel. The photos on the uh, websites on Alley don't really do it justice. These outdoor shots kind of show just how cool that titanium look. That reflective bezel, that polished surface. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, just ask.